Looks like you're able to find the p-intercept okay. It was when you're calculating the slope that you had a little bit of trouble, and I think it's that you're mixing up slope with that s-intercept right there. So remember that slope is rise over run. So slope equals rise over run. So right here we can see it is, and you had this right, this is this distance is um, negative, or it's 140 is the rise. And then the run right here is the 70 that you have, but the slope is the, um, it's those two things divided, rise over run. So again, I'm getting the, if I started here, it's going to run 70 and it's going to rise 140. And so then 140 divided by 70 would make a slope of 2. Um, so in other words, every time it goes over 1, it goes up 2. Um, and then for your equation, then if you just change that 70 to a 2. And then the, the uh, p-intercept is, is still that 140. So I think it was just that, that little bit that it's the rise over the run rather than the intercept itself. Um, hopefully that cleared it up for you.